example, when we understand on last Sunday when Pastor was preaching, Jesus Christ fast, mm -hmm. Moses fasted, mm -hmm. David fast. Okay, all the powerful men of God, Elisha, Elisha, all of them fast. So that means we are not special. Okay, Even so Jesus. yeah, Jesus fasted. So he's showing us the way. If we call ourselves as Christian, we should be Christ like, mm. not the other way around. Okay. So if any man of God tells you not to fast, I, I will tell you just wrong for your life. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna read the book of uh, Esther. Um, I love Esther because it's one of the things that helped me. Like as you said, that helped me. I um, need to free myself from diabetes. Okay. Um, when I discovered the book of Esther. I read it, I say, okay, this is gonna do what? It needs something to build up your faith. Amen? It needs something to build up your faith. If you can't find it, I'm telling you, if you go to the Bible, there are a lot of man of God, man of God, you can pick one. If, even if you wrong with one, remember we were discussing the Bible study on the house fellowship, even if you pick Moses and look at his life and relationship with God. He can run with it for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you make it to heaven. You can just pick one, but we so be, you can pick and choose anyone that you like. To that, pick Esther. And we're gonna, I'm gonna just read uh, Esther chapter four, verse one to 17. I'll be quick, okay? When Mordecai learned of all that had done, he tore his clothes, put on a sackcloth and ashes, and went out into the city wailing loudly and bitterly, but when, but when only as far as the king's gate, uh, because no cloth clothed in sackcloth and was allowed to enter it. So those days, unfortunately for him, the kings don't want anybody crying apart from the king's children, you know. And referring on that, as far as we know, there's no crying in heaven. Mm. Amen. Amen. And Jesus Christ is the king, a king as well, okay. From the Bible, from Genesis to, to Revelation, Christ is a king. I carry on from chapter, uh, verse 3. In every preference to which a date and order of the king came, there was a great mourning among the Jews. They were fasting and weeping and wailing. Many lay in a sackcloth and ashes. When Esther Enos and Philip attendants came and told her about Molokai, she was in a great distress. She sent cloth for him to put on instead of his sackcloth, but he would not accept them. Mm. Okay, so this book of Esther is quite powerful. Eh? So from the beginning of, before Esther came into a picture, in, uh, in the, during the patient time, remember every time she of Israel is sin, God will always send them to exile as a kind of punishment. Those that were behind, they will receive their punishment as well. Some who God told from the history of the Bible, from the from the Old Testament, if they refuse to go, they will die. So I'm looking now what moved the Israel of Israel right from their homeland to move to to, to another place. Mm -hmm. It is a sin. In our life as well, mm. if we move away from God, we we'll definitely have to find out that. God will also move away from us. If you mm. declare independent in your life, as far as we are living now, and you decide, okay, you want to do your own thing, what's going to happen? You're going to have definitely a different lifestyle from God. God is going to move away from you, okay? Mm -hmm. So from this king, King uh, King Esther, have hosted a, a banquet for six good moves. We were just having fun, people were just eating and drinking, having a good time. But during this period, he just come only a week. After six months, he decided to have a party with his nobility, the people that know more during that time, just only one week. And during this period, he decided that he's going to introduce his wife, kind of like show off his wife to the people that are around him. The girl was happy. She she didn't show up. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that? You know, it's like you come your wife to come, your wife refused to come. You know? Sometimes they do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes they don't, if you don't make them happy. Sometimes you know? they say to you, "You go, you go, you go." I'm not if, going anywhere. If you don't make them happy, you know what I mean? Like like this queen, queen, uh, uh, yeah. firstly, 
she she come to the point whereby I don't know what happened, but I can only guess or imagine. You know, I can use my mind and I can say, okay, maybe she she was with her own friends having a good time as well, and she will say to herself, why this man is calling me for me to show myself to to the men around them? Only God knows, but she decided not to come. Mm -hmm. You see, in two things in life, it can be pretty if you don't have character. There's a problem. Oh, 